Hi everyone, my name is Rishin Su. I'm happy to be presenting our work on automatic TK scoring from 2D DSA images. To give a little bit of context, stroke is one of the leading causes of death and disability. A recent study has shown that endovascular therapy improves outcome in patients with acute ischemic stroke caused by a large vessel occlusion. Nowadays, digital subtraction angiography is the preferred imaging modality during endovascular treatment for both guiding the procedure and assessing the treatment quality. On the right side of this slide, you can see an, an example of M1 occlusion with later on removed by an endovascular treatment. Treatment success is generally measured by visually inspecting the amount of reperfusion on DSA images before and after an endovascular treatment. A couple of grading metrics such as, an, such as ETK uh, shown in the left side table have been defined to quantify the reperfusion. However, such scores suffer from a couple of limitations. As the score is visually inspected, it suffers from inter and intra observer variation, and it is a coarse scale, which is not very accurate. Another limitation is that although TK scores define brain reperfusion, uh, brain tissue reperfusion, sometimes it is assessed based on vessel recognition in clinical practice. To overcome these limitations, we uh, propose a fully automatic and quantitative reperfusion scoring framework called AutoTK. Here is an overview of the framework. For each patient, we take four acquisitions as input. These are the AP and lateral views of pre and post EVT acquisitions. First, we use a convolutional neural network to separate each acquisition into three phases, atrial, parenchymal, and venous phase. In this slide, you can see a couple of the image examples of each phase in AP and lateral views. After phase classification, the venous phase frames are excluded from the next steps. This is mainly to remove possible reperfusion caused by regional grid blood flow via pile collaterals. The remaining frames are then aligned to remove possible motion artifacts. Afterwards, we calculate the minimum intensity map of each acquisition, which is a 2D image from the 2D, uh, from the 2D minimum intensity maps, the target downstream territory is automatically segmented from the perfused region based on the intensity values. In the final step, by comparing the target downstream territory of before and after treatment, a TK score can be derived as the amount of reperfusion within the previously occluded pre region. The score is a value between 0 and 1. We evaluated the proposed AutoTK framework on part of the MIS clean registry. The entire framework was validated on a total of 141 patients with 564 acquisitions. To demonstrate the feasibility of AutoTK and prove the relevance of AutoTK for treatment assessment, we evaluated the association between AutoTK and ATK. As we can see from the box plot, AutoTK overall has a good correlation with ETK. AutoTK scores from the AP and lateral views are analyzed separately and shown in blue and orange color. The, and the average score of the two views are shown in green. A stronger correlation is observed with lateral view scores because the brain area in the AP view is about half of the area in lateral projections. It is uh, also worth to mention that the definition of ETK and AutoTK are not fully identical. Both uh, metrics measure brain tissue reperfusion, but on top of that, ETK distinguishes uh, score 0 and 1 by checking whether there is vessel blood flow after the initial occlusion point. It also distinguishes score 2C and 3 by checking whether there is slow blood flow in distal vessels. In this study, we are not aiming for a perfect correlation. We rather use the experiment to demonstrate the feasibility of AutoTK scoring. To further underpin the value of AutoTK, we compared AutoTK and ETK with respect to the capability of tre treatment outcome prediction. As you can see from the figure and the table, when predicting the MRS score and NIHSS score, AutoTK is uh, mostly comparable to ETK if it is not better. To conclude, we have presented a fully automatic scoring framework for brain reperfusion quantification. We have demonstrated the feasibility of AutoTK by its good correlation with ETK and by their comparable value in treatment outcome prediction. With that, uh, I would like to thank all the co-authors and some of our colleagues for their contribution to this work. If you have any questions, my email address is at the bottom of this slide. If you would like more information, you can click the link below to download our paper.
Thank you so much.